So I walked to my NSX, took out my key, and pressed the button, and nothing happened. And I knew automatically that it was the battery. So we accessed the battery, and we're gonna show you how to do that. We removed the battery, we had it tested, it came out that it was just low at five volts, and now we're gonna put the battery in. So we're gonna give you all the information you need if you're in this situation. So without further ado, let's get started. First, we're gonna remove this plastic piece and we're gonna access the battery. After that, we're gonna remove this bracket. There's two 10 millimeter nuts. Use a deep socket and a wrench if you need to get to the back one. And then we're gonna unhook the bracket. Okay, in order to access the positive terminal, we're gonna pull up on this, move it over, but we're gonna be removing the negative terminal first with a 10 millimeter wrench, and then we're gonna do the positive side. But I got a really cool trick for you guys. I have a pair of old socks, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these socks over the terminals, and that's gonna prevent me from scratching the area, it's gonna prevent me from grinding anything out. It's a really neat trick. All right, we're gonna be removing the negative terminal first. We're gonna be using a 10 millimeter wrench. And when we remove the terminal, we're gonna put a sock over it. It's gonna protect our plastic parts. And we're gonna also be removing the positive and we're gonna be putting a sock over that. All right, and we can now remove this box. And carefully take out the battery. It's heavy, awkward, so just be safe. So we have our AGM battery and we're gonna put it in the car. This is really heavy, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have iPro on and we're gonna be using the handle, but we're also gonna be making sure that in case the handle breaks, we can grab it. Now this is kind of awkward, especially for the back. I'm gonna try to lean on stuff that I think I can lean on. Let's see, I got my hand on here. Okay, we're gonna, and of course, trying to get this cable out the way so we don't crunch it. All right, it's almost in there. All right, we have to put this box over it. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead, once we got that in there, we're gonna go ahead and put our positive terminal first. We're gonna make sure that it seats all the way down. And then we're gonna tighten it down with a 10 millimeter wrench you don't have to do it super tight just when it stops you stop we'll put this cover over it and that's going to secure it and then we're going to put our negative terminal on make sure it sits all the way down and we're good all right we're going to put this bracket on now and essentially you're gonna hook it down here and then the back side seems like it's hard but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be using a mirror and my light and we're gonna be hooking the back side up on this little plastic part. All right, we're gonna tighten this bracket but we're gonna go back and forth as we tighten. And the reason why is we don't wanna just lock down one side. It's gonna put the pressure on it unevenly. And we're gonna just go back and forth and that's good. And then we're gonna put this cover back on, just like this. Wipe it down. We got the new battery in, let's see if it starts. 